University of Queensland Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Research Thesis Audit. This is from Mia Strasek Barker and Elizabeth Alvey from the University of Queensland. Mia is the Re Reconciliation Action Plan Manager in the University of Queensland Library. She is a proud, and I'm going to apologise in advance, um, Gamala Roy woman from the Lightning Ridge in New South Wales. Her role focuses on coordinating and managing a range of activities and events across the University of Queensland to highlight the library's acknowledgement and commitment to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples through its collections and services. Elizabeth is a Senior Manager of University of Queensland eSpace, which is part of the University of Queensland Library. She has worked in the academic library since 2008, more recently in the area of digitisation and repositories. And with that, we will start the talk. Sorry, I've got butterfingers. Give me a moment. <laughs> so we'll just talk about ourselves. Don't forget that there's the Padlet where you can ask questions. Oh, there's another quick question here. Are there any apps or guides you would recommend for beginners wishing to improve their pronunciation? I'm just going to jump in here and answer this one. There is a really good site and it's called the Maori Dictionary, which is really good. And that has an app off that as well. Our university also has its own app as well, University of Auckland. But for a first place to go, Maori Dictionary, you just type that into Google and um, it will bring it up for you. And it also has the audio of the word as well, which is always helpful. And we're back. Myself and my colleague Elizabeth, I would like to start with an acknowledgement of country on behalf of the both of us. I acknowledge the traditional owners and their custodianship of the lands on which we all meet today. As a Gamilaroi Ualari woman, I pay respects to the ancestors and their descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connections to country, recognising their valuable contributions to Australian and global society. My name is Mia Strazik Barker and I'm the Reconciliation Action Plan Manager within UQ Library and I'm co-presenting today with my colleague Elizabeth Alvey who is the Senior Manager of UQ eSpace and we've been working closely together along with an awesome project group on the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Research UQ Theses Audit. Next slide. So the project was established through a question from an author asking to restrict an image under cultural protocols. I was asked to check the process of restriction and that it was correct. In doing this, I had to review the thesis, which was about Aboriginal women and their sexuality. Reading the thesis and not receiving a warning of what was ahead in terms of historical depictions and information was disturbing. To repeat from the thesis and to let it sit with you, as an Aboriginal woman, some of the very first text I engaged with when opening the document was the perception of us Aboriginal women being no more than domesticated cows. With this Indigenous user experience, we had an improvement goal in mind to improve access and discoverability of UQ research relating to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander content review and ensure respectful and culturally appropriate metadata, facilitate a culturally safe user experience, and showcase Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander research data in various formats. Next slide. So after some time, a project scope was established and we had our proposed solution, which was to create an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander research collection collection in the university repository, have a dedicated collection that allows flexibility in future work and piping to different platforms, we were going to perform expert searches and keywords to discover theses to audit and to be included in the collection. We were looking at reviewing metadata and adopting the IATSIS pathways for subjects, place names, languages. We wanted to enhance ability to identify Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander authors and assist with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander language discoverability and the use of the additional notes. We also were looking to implement cultural sensitivity statements or warning and have the authority to restrict and mediate theses based on cultural protocols. Because the thesis metadata comes from different sources, ranging from historic cataloging to author suggested keywords, there are often no cultural sensitivity statements or additional notes, limited cultural metadata or inappropriate and outdated terminology. 
So our main approach was to improve the metadata was to adopt terms from controlled vocabularies to replace inappropriate or vague keywords. So the three main we used is Auslang. Um, so Auslang to group research related to a particular Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander language or people. The IATSA's pathways. And these are subject and place headings created and maintained by IATSA's to reflect Indigenous perspectives and place names first wherever possible. And then we've used our standard control vocabulary, the Library of Congress subject headings to update keywords and for our authority name headings. The other crucial elements were using our cultural assessment tool and expanding our use of the repository, repository to privilege Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander authors and languages. So the cultural assessment tool combined with training undertaken by our project members helps identify if contact is, content is sacred or whether it contains terms that are offensive. It also helps us select a cultural advisory statement that's appropriate for the record and to identify whether the thesis should be referred to the reconciliation action program manager for potential mediation. We've also been including Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander authors heritage in their own words. This, is, this information is quite often in the text or acknowledgement of the thesis, but hadn't been reflected in the metadata. And you can see an example here um, of how we've incorporated this into um, a record in our repository. So lessons learned so far from the project. Um, the importance of preferencing Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander knowledge and perspectives. So one example is that we use the OSLANG codes before field of research codes in the subject headings. We've learned a lot about the importance of OSLANG codes and its specific application. And a huge shout out to IATSIS because it's sort of a really amazing schema um, for working with Indigenous knowledge and research. Um, the benefit of using both Library of Congress and IATSIS thesauri, thesauri pathways for maximum discovery, understanding the limitations of the system and adjusting or working around where possible. For example, when we're identifying authors heritage as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, we're currently using additional notes because the repository is designed to um, describe works rather than people, but it's an area we think we can improve going forward. Being really critically aware of the cultural load for Aboriginal and Torres Strait or Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff members involved in a project similar to this and having the appropriate support in place and even just the benefit of checking in with each other as project um, team members because some of the subject matter can be quite triggering. The importance and value of cultural awareness training being completed by the project team. We were lucky enough to do the black card training, um, which was really um, helpful and meaningful. And it's an ongoing project. Um, it needs support, time and resources. And we're very lucky to have such an amazing project group to contribute. So where to next with our project? We have a few forward thinking ideas, but the first is to continue with the process of auditing and preparing ingest updates. So we've finished PhD and MPhil works and we'll move to non-HDR. We're looking to launch the collection as part of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander resource page, resources page. The screenshot is an example of our page and the different topics or subjects to engage with. We're looking to work with the graduate school and build a procedure for future works, moving away from retrospective updates for business as usual. We'll look to share lessons from this project and apply to UQ's general and special collections and also review systems and metadata improvements such as traditional knowledge labels and icons for verified collection items. So we'll be around for questions um, a little bit later, but before ending, I do want to publicly give a shout out to the project team and all their work in contributing to this change of business and thinking. Thank you. Thanks, um, Elizabeth and Mia. If you want to turn on your videos and unmute yourselves. Hi. Um, we've got a couple of questions here. Okay. Um, the first question was, was, right, was this thesis published many years ago or more recently? So I think that's um, referring to what something you're talking about very early on. Yep. Um, the example... Um, in the presentation. So that thesis was um, published in 2008. All right, and another question. 
Um, are current thesis authors asked to select headings? I'm assuming that's in the metadata. Yeah, suggest them. Yeah, so yeah. currently um, authors um, suggest their own um, keywords when as part of the um, thesis submission process but the mm -hmm. next tranche of our work will be how to incorporate what we've learned from the, the the legacy theses um so that ongoing um people can put these uh, can put cultural advisory statements or have access to those control vocabularies more easily right and there's another question that's coming how long did it take to include the new collection into eSpace and for it to be usable <laughs> How long is it this string? <laughs> <laughs> so um, Mia will know the exact numbers, but we had 50 theses in our first ingest, um, which we did um, in over the first um, six, eight months of the project, Mia. Yeah. And um, I think we're finding that we're picking up speed um, as we um, adapt to the processes. Oh, that's great. So if people have any more questions, you can pop something in even in the chat or into the Padlet. Um, lots of thanks for that presentation and shout out to IATIS, Control Vocabulary. It's a fantastic initiative from somebody else. Um, yeah, it's like the beginning of a big, big, big project. Hmm. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? <laughs> all, all good. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing your presentation, recording it, and being here for answering the questions. It's really great.